some young professional young men from Gilmer, particularly K yourself, came together with Ambassador C and they started attacking the same shilling, attacking it. And I said, no, if he gave me 200 shillings, okay, why don't I also support him? My political ambition, I want to say I didn't have political ambition at all. Though I was a leader from primary school, I became chairman of CEO in my secondary school. And moving forward to my university, I still became the chairman of C. Um, how I came in contact with politics is one time I was going to my secondary school. I should go the word stopped while I was walking carrying my box along the road. He stopped. He told me, young man. Where are you going? I am going to school. Which school? I am going at high school. And he dropped me. I didn't know he was the word. But I read there, he gave me 200 bucks. So along the way, when I went to a place where there was a TV one. I saw this is the man who took me to school. I identified who it was the word. So, when I finished my school, I was employed in telecommunications, I went to Machakos. There is some young professional young men from Elgeomar, particularly K yourself, came together with Ambassador C and they started attacking the same machine of people, attacking it. And I said, no, if he gave me 200 shillings, okay, why don't I also support it? That's how now. I entered into depending on you. And since that time, because I was active, then I said, if I continue and I manage to even bring those people together, then why don't I also serve the people and depend the people? So that is how now he was also identified me. He gave me his personal assistant to come out of a uh, poster where I was. And I joined him in uh, 89 and thereafter it took me about three years working with him. And then there was YK92 which Kirongo uh, was leading. And then he just went to the field to campaign for the former president. And we succeeded and uh, along the way of course we could not agree and I was then that was Nicholas. And I just ventured in the business to date. So along the way, because people had seen my leadership qualities, back at home, they would call me and say, Why don't you try to unseat your former books? Yes, I accepted the challenge and we moved. For many, Before 2007, I had also joined the campaign for the 2007, of course, I accepted the challenge. When to the field, that is when almost every challenge was in audience. So we went to the audience. Unfortunately, I was not chosen in the party, uh, whatever. It became number two. And we didn't keep up because what we wanted was to remove you what them. So we had to join hands, all of us, and uh, supported Tony. And eventually succeeded with Tronsky. And we moved on. I wanted to be a businessman, a very rich person. <laughs> but now, when this politics came, it destabilized my, 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 my youthful thoughts about being the the richest person, owning lorries. I even wrote in my goodbye, it was a textbook, saying that in three years I want to hold ten lorries. You know, those kind of, uh, you know, wishful thinking. In 2007, um, 
I-5, I-PM number 2, but not through the ballot on the party primaries. And because we had one enemy at that time, we had to support one, whoever had won. That was Jackson's economy. 2013, I did not buy because I was called by Raila Amolo Odinga to support him, to championing and campaigning for him. We formed friends of Raila. So that was called Fora. So I became his chairman and he uh, supported him. He went across the country. Unfortunately, we didn't manage. In 2017, I told him now, release me. I'm going to go now the march of now wanting to do the presentation of my community. Came into me proper. And I went in, of course, through audience. I could not, I was given direct ticket. I went up to the ballot. I became number two to the current MP now. Uh, Commander Daniel Ron. So we are moving on. We, we are selling our policies, our principles, and what have you, whatever I think that we can support. But I formed a foundation called Kagwe Foundation, which I'm planting trees in school and imparting them with environmental skills. That environment is everything. And even I started a, 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 a brand called Tree is Life. Because if we don't have these trees, then the whole world will be here. So this is one of the my outreach in the community that I'm doing, apart from other empowerment programs that I have for the community. People do not elect me, but I'm still with the people. Whenever they have anything that we need to be assisted, I'm there as a communal uh, kind of a leader. For sure, I don't have any regrets at all for whatever I've done to my community and whatever I've done for myself. Yes, I can say in one word, I have done so much to the community that I've almost neglected myself. But I'm saying it is good because at the end of the day, I have never lacked anything. Whenever I don't have people knows I'm a giver and I always a pocket at two at the same time. And uh, when you look at service, being a leader, it is the one more that we need to understand when you are standing. You are going to lose time, even your family time, even your business time, and even your sleep. So people who are coming and seeing that politics is democratic, it is not too crap. It is a fatty one, and at the same time, it is a good one because we are serving the people and a wider uh, constituents. That is what I believe in. I'm looking for this kind of seed, and definitely I'm going to go 20, 2022. And I will appeal to my people. I say I still have something because I've stood for the last two, two, two terms or two times. This is my third time and I want to tell them, I have something for you. Why don't you try me this time? <laughs> you know? So in the state of now saying it is a must. Some people are saying it is a must. It is not a must. You appeal to them, you appeal to the young people. Of course, every generation, every five years there is a new generation. Those who have taken the IDs, those who have uh, now the 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 first quarters, and those are them the multitude of the uh, population in a, in a voting pattern and to appeal for them also to know you is another another task that is why we are in the constituents almost every now and then to familiarize ourselves sell our policies empower people and so i want to thank my family because they always supported me they always understood me because at one point i believe the constituents knows we always go out with my wife. Whenever I talk, I introduce my wife. So he knows this is a task that we have chosen as a family to support the people of Okeo Marakwet and also my constituents. And they are our family that we don't want to know something that they don't know. Whatever we know, whatever opportunities, we give them so that at least they also prosper. Politics 
is not part of process. You need first as a young person, as you have finished your profession, just marry, take care of your children. Take them to school, educate them to a certain position where even if you lose this time I'm talking about, you have no young family, at least you have educated your children, they are already working, then now you give out yourself to the community. Otherwise, most, most of the young people, those who have maybe gone to politics, first, they don't have resources. Secondly, they depend on uh, goodwill. Thirdly, they might be having something, and maybe they say, may I sell because I'm going to get 20 million. Who tells you that you are going to win? You have to also think you are going into this thing to lose and win. So the best one is the one I've told the young people. Please build yourself first. Put your family together first. Educate your children first. Then you move. Because at the end of the day, this is another good story. You will be the father of the sick will be the father of the, the, the not-to-do-well families that you have to help them go to school, the sick people, the rambes for to do burials and what have you. Where will you remove all this money? How will you share all this money with your family? So you better minimize your part and so that this other part becomes because it is a big family. Once you you enter into politics arena. Your well, life changes. One, you become public figure. Two, whenever you go, oh, that is one. So even people you don't know, you cannot move. Ten seconds, you are stopped. You might not even reach where you are going. So all the time is talking, greetings, and what have you. Number two, simply because you didn't win and you have used all your resources. You have also spent your friends' resources. You become now, everybody leaves you. The only people who remain with you is your family. And again, number two, if you spent your finances, particularly me, I did not spend my family finances. I made sure that I look for my finances. So for now, I'm comfortable because I did not go into that, uh, that pocket of the family, uh, finances, and also to my business. I make sure always that I plan myself well. From one year, one that from the time I lost, I'm planning, you know, putting something aside that is not going to affect what I'm doing. And because any other time, you have seen me have fight twice, that time I was thriving, I'm still thriving, I'm not changing my life because I planned myself. But most people, they don't plan themselves. If I don't lose, they plan themselves to win. So I say, when I'm going, I say, I'm going to win and I'm going to lose. So if I win, yes, my life will be better and I'll do things according to my manifesto. If I lose, I come back home and I continue with my business. That is so that I don't have any disappointment or any regret in my life.